Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just gonna stop it. I'm gonna turn this around on you. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I just want to show you a really quick video on how we turned an otherwise unsightly area of our kitchen, this little corner here, into something actually eye appealing. We just turned, oh look, does that go on the coffee bar? We wanted to turn this little section of our kitchen into a cute little coffee bar, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how we did it. Can you say hi? Hi. Turn around, turn around. Oh, you wanna get your drink? Yeah. Hey, say hi. Hi. Hi, wave. So if you wanna keep, uh, if you wanna see how we did it, go ahead and keep watching. This is the current area where we're keeping our coffee pot and sugar and stuff, but the issue is is that we don't have a whole lot of counter space in this kitchen and you guys are going to see yet another view of how messy this kitchen gets just like everyone else's I'm sure but there isn't a whole lot of counter space to work with so when you're selling a house you want to maximize what you have and because we don't really have a choice but to keep the microwave there what we're going to do today is get rid of the coffee station here so this is more open and then we're gonna take this little area where we keep like medications and vitamins and things and turn this into a really cute little coffee station. So we don't have any power over here yet. So my hubby is going to be handy today and he's gonna cut a little area here and run power from the basement and put a little outlet right here, which is gonna be great. We'll be able to plug the coffee maker in. We got a new coffee maker and yeah, I'll show you guys the process. Okay, so these are some of the items that I chose to put with the um, coffee station. We got a white Keurig. I've been really wanting a white Keurig. I don't know why. I think it looks really pretty and streamlined and clean. So I'm not sure why anybody would want a white Keurig because coffee is brown and I'm sure it stains. But it'll be a challenge for me. But anyway, we got some things that will kind of match with the coffee station. And I write like natural elements along with the more modern style, I guess. So we got the white Keurig. I found this really cute little wooden sugar bowl and the top kind of spins like this, which is great. And I just put a little spoon in there. So the sugar is gonna be in that wooden bowl. I found this in the clearance section as well, both of these. This was $5, this was 11. It's just a glass jar with this uh, roping and little wooden beads I thought would look nice with this. So we're gonna throw all like the K cups in here. And then I chose these placemats because it has this really pretty blue color running through it and it'll look nice in the kitchen. Um, and I think that having a little bit of color against all the white elements in the wood, especially um, the color blue, will look really nice and kind of earthy. But anyway, so I chose these. These were also in the clearance section for $8. So I think when you go to home, home goods and places like that, if you don't check clearance section first, you're just being silly because they have some really, really great stuff in there. I actually found two of these. One was marked at $8 and the other was marked at at five so I mean there was nothing wrong with the one at five dollars so I just grabbed that one but definitely check the clearance section first you'd be surprised what you can find so these are the three items that I chose and we got three different types of k-cups so I'm gonna fill this up now I got the cafe Verona because it's my mine and my husband's favorite dark roast So got the cafe mocha latte cafe yeah the mocha cafe latte by Starbucks and then I also saw this so I thought I'd try it because it's by Harry and David and they always have really good stuff um, especially like their holiday sets and things so this is the Northwest blend and it's a medium roast So I also found this. I wanted like a little sign that said something like, but first coffee or whatever. I just wanted something that was like a little cafe type sign to set on. We have like a little picture rail right above it. So I'll dress that up a bit. But I found this in the checkout and like the impulse section. So it is a, it's a cinema light box 
and it has a bunch of different little letters like you would see at like the cinema, how they change their, their lights out, the movies, whatever, I don't think anybody says cinema. But anyway, um, I believe it lights up and you can change out the phrase and I noticed it because it says rise and shine and I thought that was super cute. So I'm gonna put that together now. I'm just gonna move around all the little things that I have here to make sure that everything's configured just the way I like it Just kind of move them around until it's placed in an area where you're happy I guess but I found a couple other items around my house this candle and this little star and I thought they looked really nice there as well All right friends, so I hope you enjoyed this short little clip of transforming this otherwise mess of a little space here that was just full of medications and things like that to a cute little coffee bar so hopefully that'll be more appealing to buyers when they come through the house thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video